I think tonight what we're looking to do is as we see that process through to sort of set our sights on the horizon. Um, I know a lot of people, arguably every person in this room is thinking what's next. Um, and there's a variety of answers to that question. Um, one of the responses to that question is um, taking a look at our Congress. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, taking a look at our Congress um, and the representation or lack of representation that we're getting in that body. Um, and so that's what we're here to uh, introduce um, and start a conversation about tonight. And that is brand new Congress. Um, it's a volunteer run organization that sort of um, just kicked off. Um, it's, it's a response to this political revolution that has really taken off in the last year. Um, we'll kind of go over what that plan is, um, what your role might be um, in getting involved for those who are interested in continuing. Um, and then we'll answer some questions um, and, and get the discussion going. Um, this is the very beginning. This is, has just started. What is BNC and what might the next couple of years look like? Uh, so, <laughs> Bernie. So, so uh, in, in order to answer that, just one step back. Um, throughout this uh, campaign with Bernie Sanders, there's one thing that he has echoed since the beginning. No single president can do this alone. It is going to take millions of people coming together, and when Congress is going about their day-to-day -day work, and they're making decisions that they look out the window and remember who they are accountable to. So that is what brand new Congress is looking to address. Um, and in the next couple of years, there's a, there's a vision looking toward the 2018 election um, and to elect a brand new Congress. Typically, yeah. usually the way that campaigns work is they are fragmented. Each candidate is running a separate election, um, and it's not a coordinated effort. There are many things that we have learned through this Bernie campaign, um, and in order to make this um, a sort of efficient way of going about uh, the next election. There is one plan, one campaign, and a slate of candidates who would be running in support of Bernie's progressive platform and agenda in order to, to, to take the seats of Congress. So the way that would work um, is that Millions of people um, like yourself would start, uh, we would start to have these conversations across the country. That's what this event is about. It's part of a 100 city tour to tap into different regions of the country, get people to start talking about the next phase. Once we do that, um, there will be more events um, and more organizing to nominate um, candidates um, who fit the bill uh, that Bernie uh, basically set for us. Non what? Non-corrupt. Non -corrupt. Yeah. Um, and representing the people. So the way that it would work is that it would be a bottom-up approach. These are people within communities who have had impact, who have displayed integrity already. There are people within the community who have risen up to be leaders. And these are the types of people that we would want to nominate to represent their districts. And it could be any one of you. And it could be any one of you. And the natural tendency for and the natural tendency for this type of person is that they would never envision themselves as really getting into politics. People with integrity, politics is over there, that's not for me. And that's what we're trying to change. The idea is brand new Congress would be that uh, system uh, to allow people who are already serving their communities to be able to take seats like this and represent their communities in Congress. And so that's what we're trying to do. I think one question that 
is a very natural question is, well, what about states or districts that are red or Republican? How would that work? Um, and the answer to that is that there are many issues uh, that are not, um, they're not exclusive to people who are Democrat or subscribe to a certain party, issues like climate change. Um, the platform would not be compromised. So we would not be running candidates who are gonna compromise on issues of abortion um, or you know, uh, LGBT issues. So that is not going to be a concern and we can you know, talk about that more during the Q&A. Um, but the idea is each one of these candidates has been vetted, um, has already uh, shown that they would turn down um, opportunities to get swayed by some of the money interests that we see happening in Congress these days um, and really elevate them and give them an opportunity to represent us in Congress. And so that would be one plan, one campaign, a slate of candidates who are supporting this progressive agenda that Bernie really started, um, and this political revolution, this awakening that a lot of people have had, um, is gonna really help carry that forward and that momentum. So that's, that's really the gist of it. Um, the candidates would be nominated, um, and then uh, around March of next year, they would all, um, be announced um, uh, in Washington, uh, shoulder to shoulder. And the idea is that from there, um, that would certainly catch headlines, um, and that we would see that level of interest and spark and fire that we saw uh, with Bernie's campaign be ignited again, because now there's something tangible for people to get behind. It's been provided, it's there, these are the people, the work has been done, now it's your job to vote for them. And so that's what we're trying to do and the, sort of the muscle of, of getting that slate put together and give people something um, that they can believe in, a future to believe in, to vote for. And so that's, that's pretty much the plan. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. What's next on the agenda? So I'm not rambling. A future to believe in. A future to believe in. A future to believe in.